Hi, and welcome back. So today we're going to dive into the world of NAC, or N-acetylcysteine, a powerhouse supplement that's capturing the attention of both the medical and the longevity communities alike. So let's unravel the science behind NAC and its pivotal role in our health. NAC is a powerful ally in our fight against oxidative stress and the quest for better respiratory health. NAC is an amino acid that serves as a precursor to glutathione, one of the body's most critical antioxidants. Glutathione plays a pivotal role in protecting our cells from oxidative stress, supporting detoxification, and also maintaining our immune health. What is particularly fascinating about NAC is its unique ability to boost glutathione levels in the body, a feature that positions it as a key player in our antioxidant defense system. The importance of maintaining adequate levels of glutathione cannot be overstated. It works in tandem with other antioxidants, such as vitamin C and also vitamin E, forming a protective network that shields our cells from the harmful effects of free radicals. These free radicals, if left unchecked, can lead to a host of health issues, including premature aging, cellular damage, and various chronic age-related diseases. One of the most compelling aspects of NAC is its rate-limiting role in the synthesis of glutathione. This means that without sufficient levels of NAC, our bodies cannot produce enough glutathione to meet our daily needs. This has profound implications for our health, highlighting the critical need for NAC supplementation to ensure optimal glutathione production. Beyond its antioxidant properties, NAC is renowned for its mucolytic effects. It has the ability to break down mucus bonds, making it an invaluable tool for individuals who suffer from respiratory conditions such as chronic bronchitis, asthma, and even cystic fibrosis. This action not only aids in clearing mucus from the lungs, but it also enhances respiratory function, offering relief and improved quality of life for those affected by these conditions. Economically, NAC presents a cost-effective solution for enhancing antioxidant levels in the body. When compared to direct glutathione supplementation, NAC stands out for its affordability and also its accessibility, making it a viable option for a wide range of individuals looking to bolster their antioxidant defenses without incurring significant costs. However, the journey of understanding NAC's benefits does not end with its impact on glutathione production and also respiratory health. The conversation around NAC also touches upon the genetic factors that may influence an individual's ability to synthesize glutathione efficiently. It has come to light that certain genetic variations can affect specific processes involved in glutathione formation suggesting that NAC supplementation may not be equally effective for everyone. This latest revelation underscores the importance of personalized approaches in dietary supplementation and the potential need for targeted strategies based on an individual's genetic profile. As we continue to navigate the complexities of health and wellness, the importance of evidence-based supplementation strategies becomes increasingly more clear. NAC, with its well-documented benefits for potentially improving the quality of life, exemplifies the kind of targeted intervention that can make a meaningful difference in many of our health outcomes. And if you'd like to learn more about NAC or glycine, please take a look at my supplement stack in the video description below, where you'll find a link to a far more detailed video. And if you're looking for a reputable supplier to buy these supplements from, of the big three, Renew by Science, Do Not Age, and Pro Health Longevity. Renew by Science and Do Not Age sell them in one form or another. And if you do buy from one of these suppliers, please feel free to use the code MYNMN at checkout to get between 10 and 15% off. Well, I hope you found that interesting or informative, hopefully both. I currently take 400 milligrams of both NAC and glycine at the moment. Let me know if you also take glycine and NAC, commonly known as Glynac. And if you do, have you seen any benefits or have you actually felt any side effects? 